All right, well, it is about 12.30 on Monday, June 5th, a little later than I was planning to start the vlog, but uh, Servpro was here. They um going to keep the equipment here until the work is done. Uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, good news, though, that the uh, giant dehumidifier that was in my utility room they swapped out for a smaller one. So I was able to do laundry. So that was nice because it was right in front of my washing machine and I could not, could not get around it to get anything done. So, yep, load of towels right there, ready to be folded. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, Monday morning, yep, I start with a live sale. And at the live sale, oh, I, I lost my little sheet here. Let me get my sheet. Um, I brought, I gotta come all the way over here and flip over my sheet. Uh, because I brought some groupings, uh, it was 51 items in total that I brought. And 35 of them sold. Thank you so much. Uh, so 16 did not sell. So let's go ahead and look at what sold, what didn't sell. And we'll start with what didn't sell because there's only 16. So let me flip so that we're looking at the table. Yes, I brought two scarves that did not sell. This beautiful pink cherry blossom. And then this floral with purple and pink. So those didn't sell. The Mickey glass. That was a year 2000 um, McDonald's Animal Kingdom. And that's why Mickey's dressed like that. Um, so yeah, that was a special tie-in with McDonald's and Disney World. Uh, I brought some of the Beanie Boos. So the ones that didn't sell, the little white tiger, the minion, the puppy, the pig, the owl, the sparkle. I don't know what animal that is. I know that's a little bit of a problem. I'm not sure. Uh, we had the rhino, the elephant, the husky, the penguin, and another kind of mystery animal. So two mystery animals. Okay, that makes sense. Couldn't quite identify them. So all of those are still available. And with the epic teacup and saucer. Yep, I brought some teacups and saucers. Uh, this one is the Lefton with the pink roses. That one is Lefton, hand painted. And then this is the one from Holland. So those did not sell. They are available. Uh, yeah, so those are the 16 items that did not sell. So let's talk about the 30, 35. <laughs> I, had to, I had to do my math in my head. 35 that did sell. So we'll go through the... Um, the little, here, I'll hold it in this hand. So I had two of these unicorns. They're like these little fluff balls. They are so cute. Uh, the kiwi, the kiwi on a clip. This one we're going to say is the toucan. He's a toucan. The unicorn, the seal, the giraffe, the mouse, the pink elephant, the lion, these two puppies, the sequin husky, sequin poodle, sequin penguin, sequin, I'm not sure if he is a cow. I think he's some kind of a cow or, well, no, he's got a little thing on top. Oh my gosh. Maybe he's a unicorn. I'm not sure. And then this one, I'm not sure what he is either, but he is cute. Uh, so those are the ones that did sell. Uh, also, 
with the teacups. This beautiful blue luster one from Japan. That one is so pretty. And then this lovely one. Almost a chintz type pattern, but oh, so many flowers on this one. And that one is Crown Staffordshire. So both of those sold. Uh, some jewelry sold this beautiful one. It almost looks black, but you can see those are deep, deep blue on a beaded chain. These awesome metal earrings, kind of made to look like they have a patina already. Uh, this is another deep blue item. It looks like it's black rhinestones, but I think you can just see the hint of blue on them. A butterfly necklace, cherry blossom necklace. This super fun one with confetti in a resin. Let's see, there it is. That one is a Liz Claiborne. And, uh, oh, this one, silver tone with a green. There we go, a green solitaire in the center there. And the dog keychain. Uh, a couple books, The Legends of Silver Screen. This commemorates a, a stamp series that the U.S. Post Office came out with with Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, Valentino, uh, Clara Bow, Harold Lloyd, and then this one, which is a great collection from the Sears catalog, 1905 to 1910. But just about everything that they sold is in here. Look at that. Telephones. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, yeah, so that is a several hundred page book. That's going to be a fun read. And I brought some fabric. So this one is a flannel with moose. Uh, mouse bird building a birdhouse. That is so cute. Uh, this one with the pansies. This one that says a tisket, a tasket. And then a couple scarves that did sell this blue and pink floral and then this pink, uh, blue one with the butterflies. So those are the items that did sell. Um, we, I'm going to take you over to the front door, but I'm going to switch and have another segment. One sec. Okay. So I haven't gone anywhere. I just switched it off and turned it back on. I'm noticing sometimes if my segments go a little too long it sometimes takes a little longer to upload so if i cut it and then re-put it together it just makes it easier for me in the long run because i am not a skilled uh videologist or whatever <laughs> we're gonna call it i am i do not have that talent so whatever makes it easier for me i'm doing it all right, so I am over by the front door. Yep, we're going to do a mail count. I have got, I think I counted 10 packages. 10 packages, including some really big packages that are heading out today. That is awesome. So, uh, yes, you have been called for. And uh, so now that it is uh, 1245, yeah, he could be here at any time for pickup. So, uh, yeah, the mail is ready to go. I am also checking um, my mail to see if any payments come in between now and the time the sale starts, the evening sale with Jenny's, which it is 1245 now. That sale will start at 3 o'clock my time, 6 o'clock Eastern time. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what I am bringing to the sale. So I'm going to flip. Um, yeah, I bring in some grapes. I don't usually find fruit of any kind. Um, but there, there were grapes. So I grabbed that. Um, I've got this metal bowl, this metal planter, Charlie Brown, a crystal lamp with my towels in the backdrop, a butter dish and a butter bell. 
the mystery box. Ooh, yeah. Gonna bring that because I had requests for it. Uh, some fish, a cow, and of course, some teacups. So yep, I've got two teacups here, a cream and sugar, and two teacups here. So I'm gonna be bringing those. So yeah, sneak peek at one to the sale tonight, Monday night. Uh, Surf Pro will be back tomorrow being Tuesday after my morning sale. And they will be uh, doing whatever work needs to be done. And uh, so that's why the equipment is still here. And uh, yeah, so I'll give you an update tomorrow on what's going on, what went on, what work needed to be done. Uh, this is all going back to not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before that, when we had a collective drain with all of the rows of condos that plugged and overflowed through the toilet. Uh, luckily, I was home. I put down towels, as many as I could find down here, ran upstairs, grabbed more towels, put them out on the patio. Uh, but because I could not get to my dryer, uh, some of the towels sat there and I've got a load in the washing machine right now. Yay! So very happy about that. So that is the quick on that. Uh, another update will be coming. So uh, I will see you next, probably after the sale, when we talk about what sold and what didn't sell from the items I just showed you. And, and then we'll see what else is going on. I just had to move some stuff out of the way so that Surf Pro had a kind of clear track from the door into the house so they can do what they need to do. Um, I'm just going to double check that everything will be okay for between now and morning when they come and all of that, that I've got everything kind of stable and situated because as you know, the cats are going to be roaming around the house too. So I want to make sure everything's good and stable. I did clear off my counter. So this is the counter where I had all of the teacups. I now, let me have, I've got a box. So this was the box that some of the fabric came in. It's a great big box. Um, and so, yeah, I have the teacups and teapots and everything in here. So laundry done, um, oops, over here. Once I get the laundry done and the counter cleaned off for tonight's sale, um, then I can start unpacking another set of, uh, teacups and teapots for another haul. Yeah. And then I might have to find a spot for another box to put them in. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that's working out A-OK. -okay. I am going to have to take a little time today to work on the, making sure the counter is cleared off and the towels are folded. Ugh, I know I don't like folding laundry, but I'm going to get it done. Uh, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to organize the table. Uh, I'm going to organize the table take the goodies sold, take them upstairs, the ones that didn't sell. Yep, I'm going to find a spot here. And the teacups especially. I need a separate box from the ones that haven't been brought to the sale with the ones that have been brought to the sale but have not sold. So that then once we get through, kind of one time through probably all of the teacups, we'll start again with the ones that didn't sell. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually what I do when I have big groups like that. Um, yeah, so that's where I am at. So I will probably see you again after the sale and probably not before that because I got to grab some lunch too. <laughs> All right. Well, it is six o'clock, uh, uh, completed the sale. Yep. Did a great sale with Jen today. Thank you everyone who came. Uh, this is the Monday evening sale. Uh, the cats have had their dinner. My dinner is cooking, so I will be getting to that real soon. Uh, but let's talk about, ooh, watch that step. I've got the, um, 
I've got a, a mat down here that I don't normally have here and I was stepping on the edge because they're doing work in the utility room and in the bathroom still. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, let's see. It's supposed to be out tomorrow to assess everything. So I have high hopes that uh, some things can get taken care of tomorrow and things can get a little more back to normal around here. Um, but... Uh, so for the evening sale, we bring 15 items. However, I brought a whole bunch of grapes, which ended up putting my count, my total count at about 32 items that I had available. I sold 16 of them. Uh, so let's talk about what sold. Let's around. So I had these three beautiful, colorful fish. Yeah, they're a good size. They are going to look fun on someone's wall. Uh, yes, I brought some teacups. Uh, this one didn't say where it was from, but I have a feeling that is Japan. This one is Japan. That one's gorgeous on the front design and on the inside design. And this one is Royal Sealy. So all three of those sold this beautiful um, cream and sugar with the cherry blossoms and the blue luster. Uh, this, yeah, the weird thing I got in the mail. Yep, it is going to be going to a new home. And I hope you enjoy and find an excellent use for it. Ah, uh, the Indiana Glass Amber Butter Dish. Oh, this thing is big and epic in the beautiful diamond point pattern. Love that one. Uh, so the grapes. I had three different sizes of bunches. I had a bunch of different colors. So what sold? Of the small size, I had four different colors available. One of each sold. In the medium size, I had four different colors and two of them, two, yeah, two sold. And of the large ones, I had three different colors and one sold. So in here is four, five, six, seven, seven bunches of grapes sold. And the Charlie Brown latch hook, isn't he adorable? Yeah, this is a great kit. Got everything in it you need. And the beautiful brass planter. This one was 14 and a half inches long. That's a great size. Made in India. Uh, so the items that didn't sell, the um, cow art. This is hand cast paper. Hand cast and molded and hand painted uh, this lovely little teacup from England didn't sell. The, I think this is aluminum, uh, footed bowl. The, uh, butter bell. Yeah, this is a great one. Beautiful piece of pottery. The crystal lamp. That is a lovely crystal lamp. That is from Poland. Let me find the sticker. There it is. There is the sticker, 24% lead crystal from Poland. And it has some beautiful etching on it. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. And then these are the bunches of grapes that are still available. There are some small, some large, and some medium. So those were still available. Okay, because um, because they are coming, Surpro is coming to work here tomorrow. I'm trying to find some activities that I would normally do today, like entering my sales, sharing my videos out on social media um, that I would normally do but I'm going to hold off doing those until tomorrow so I can be downstairs while they're working, um, but still being productive with my time working. I'm also going to try to have a big chunk of the um, counter behind me cleaned. I'll probably fold the towels tomorrow. 
<laughs> and um, then I will probably start on doing some teacups. So I'm going to try tonight. It's only six o'clock. I'm going to have a little dinner, quick dinner. And then I'm going to go upstairs and try to do packing and invoicing that I won't have time to do tomorrow until after Serve Pro leaves. Uh, so they'll be here right after the morning sale. And um, yeah, so then there'll be activities that I can do downstairs while they're here working. Then uh, once they wrap up for the day, then I can go upstairs and do some more packing and invoicing that I normally do on Tuesday. So I'm trying to think ahead and that's kind of the plan I'm going with for tonight. Um, so yeah, not sure if I'm going to have more of a segment or if this is going to wrap up the vlog. It just might. And if it does, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I will keep you up to date. Um, so one thing I haven't done, which I will go ahead and do, is I haven't really shown you um, what's going on here with with the equipment and Serve Pro and stuff. Now, I've shown you um, my utility room once before when I was doing laundry and so I'm going to flip the camera around here. So here's the washing machine. Yep, I've got another load to do. I'm going to try to do that right now. Here is the small, the much smaller um, humid dehumidifier because the other one was literally sitting right here in front of the washer and it just made it really difficult to get in here. Now what I'm going to show you the dehumidifier that is in the bathroom because that is the big one still and so we're going to go right around here they share a common wall so right in here let me so this is the big one and you can see how big this is and when it is sitting right in front of my washer. Yeah, there is like no way I'm getting, I'm getting in there. So that it has been running. I, I finally on Sunday, I, I couldn't take it anymore. So on Sunday I turned it off. Yeah, I was, I was done. That was it. <laughs> I had reached my limit of listening to the humming and then right around the corner here, Right here is where um, where I have some boxes, but I also have an air purifier, which will probably be running tomorrow. Uh, so that is um, that is the equipment that is in my house. That um, yeah, this one this one is really loud. Um, so I have been running it, but um, yeah, kind of sparingly because it is loud and it. It, it's loud enough. And because the weather has been so nice, I have been able to open my windows, get some air circulation in here. So I haven't felt I've needed it quite as much. Now, if they end up doing some construction work here, then yes, definitely I will have that running. Um, but yeah, so just give you a quick update. And we are right by the little Harry Potter closet right there. Uh, so I think that is going to end the vlog for today and, um, yeah, I'll give you updates on what's going on tomorrow, especially after the sale and, um, updates on the construction. So, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.